Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been meaning to cover this for a while, but I've been busy with other projects like Arena Breakout and Warzone Mobile, etc. But I've been putting off this because it's one of them games that I know is probably quite far off. However, Delta Force very recently, if you haven't already seen it, released this trailer for the Hazard Warfare, which is the massive battle scenario. And it just gives us massive battlefield vibes when I'm watching it. It looks exactly, well, not exactly, very close to what Battlefield is for me. Like, I'm talking Battlefield 3, 4, 5 era sort of Battlefield. Maybe it's not the latest one because I haven't really played it that much and I don't have a massive experience with uh, 20, 2041, 2042, I can't remember, something like that. But, um, yeah, it just looks like Battlefield. Now, if you're not familiar with Delta Force, guys, I have done a couple of videos on it in the past but i will sort of refresh your memory in this video exactly what we're going to be expecting here now delta force is going to be a cross player game cross progression game whereas it'll be on pc and mobile i think console was thrown in there as well but i can't recall 100 percent off the top of my head if it was on console whatsoever but can you just imagine this on your mobile device or indeed your, your PC if you're at home and you've got one powerful enough to run it? It looks absolutely amazing. Now, what I've done is, guys, I've went ahead and went on to WeChat and searched the game. And I found some footage from, uh, I'm assuming, like the equivalent of a YouTuber in China. And it's not gameplay footage, it's another trailer that obviously been released in China. So I'm going to pick through that a little bit with screenshots from it just to show you some of the features from the other mode on the game. Now that trailer was for Hazard Operations and there's also the Extraction mode similar to Arena Breakout, Escape from Tarkov or even DMZ on Warzone. Very similar to all these different things. But uh, sticking to the subject of the Hazard Warfare, the Hazard Operations uh, mode that you're seeing in the background in the trailer currently, we are looking at massive multiplayer maps with objective-based combat, so you've got capture points, probably objectives to destroy. I don't know how many modes are in the game yet because I haven't actually had the privilege of getting my hands on this game whatsoever yet. I've just been sort of hanging about in the background watching closed beta start or alpha test start in China or internally and I can't actually uh, experience it myself which is quite uh, upsetting at times but we're looking at helicopters, ships or boats anyway, tanks, armoured carriers, uh, vehicles, a massive array of different weapons, sniper rifles, bows, assault rifles, SMGs, you've seen them all in the background, probably shotguns and pistols and stuff like that, and of course tactical abilities as this game features classes, so instead of just having your run of a male soldier and you pick a loadout and stuff, you've also got classes, so you'll have medic, scout, uh, probably engineer, stuff like that to really mix up the gameplay and make it more squad based. And this also carries over to the other side of the game, which is the extraction mode, where we'll have classes in there, which do play a role in the squad based combat, but also a lot of other features in it will make the massive difference here. So then guys, like I say, what you're seeing in the background now is screenshots of the extraction mode that I've took from a Chinese uh, video on WeChat. That's why you can see Chinese lettering at the top there. And these screenshots reveal a hell of a lot about the game's development and what we're going to expect. You can see, for instance, the gun this guy is using. It's got very many, very, a lot of attachments. You've got the scope, you've got the canted scope. It's got laser sights on etc. And the guy in front, you can see he's got guns on his back, he's got backpack, helmets, armour, even a melee weapon there on his leg, which is an axe. And if you look past his arm in the background there, there's a little crate on the floor, that'll be a dead player. If you're familiar with Arena Breakout in China, instead of getting dead bodies on the floor, you get crates because of the uh, filters and stuff like that. So that's shown what happens when you kill a player, you'll have a little loot box and you'll be able to go through it and stuff like that. As this is clearly an extraction point with the green smoke and stuff, this will be a place where you go to exit the map. So maybe that guy was trying to extract and these ones killed him and his body's just been left there. But 
looking at the the actual screenshot of it it looks absolutely massive i can also tell even though this is the pc footage not the mobile you've also got a mini map in the top left so you'll be able to see a map at all times which is new for this sort of thing so i don't think it's going to be quite as hardcore as arena breakout or escape from tarkov but it's still got a lot of the features that the m2 games have in which i'm going to get into now now, this next screenshot you're seeing, guys, is probably a pre-match uh, sort of preparation phase of the game. So you can see on the left-hand side here, down in a column, you've got all the different helmets available to your person, as well as the cost of them. Now, the, I think there's more uh, helmets than this, because if you look at the little scroll, the white line on that list, this is right down the bottom. So I imagine it's the tier 6 down here, and then as you go up, it'll go tier 5, tier 4, tier 3, tier 2, tier 1. Etc. <clears throat> the helmet he's got on probably looks like a tier one helmet to me. Something really basic and just enough to stop maybe a stray, very weak bullet or something like that. But there's a couple of screens like this in the footage I watched where they've got armor, they've got rigs, they've got stuff like that. So lots of things you can actually equip to your character which is shown much more realistically in this one. You've got the gun, you've got the armor, the backpack, the rig slot on the side. You've got the, the two different weapon slots, secondary, melee, and I don't know what that thing beneath the knife is. It might be ammo or something like that. Probably looks like ammo slots. But you can see you've got the different uh, slots that you can actually put on your character in the game itself before you go into match so you'll be able to find stuff in raids but you can also take stuff in like the looter shooter sort of genre you would you would uh, expect from this sort of game so guys this is the last screenshot i'm showing from the chinese video i watched which is the pre-match uh, selection of your class or character that you do actually want to use while playing the extraction mode now you can see at the bottom here we've got five different classes we've got what looks like two assault classes a medic a tanky sort of support class and then a sniper at the end there with the little crosshair and on the left here you can see each sort of character has got four skills now i'm going to assume i'm assuming here it'll probably be a passive skill two active skills and maybe it's an ultimate skill or looking at the actual icons of this one the top one looks like sort of a damaging one because it's in red then you've got a running one that's probably a passive the next one looks like some sort of c4 that's probably an active skill in the bottom one it's either a backpack or a jetpack or something, probably another active skill. don't think it's going to be ultimate skills like Valorant and stuff like that. I think it'll just be like um, chargeable skills that you get. maybe you have to charge it up by finding things in the match or killing a certain amount of people or players or something like that to just um, charge it up and use. But maybe that's why it's in raid or maybe this guy hasn't got it unlocked yet. But I do like the look of this. I like the fact you've got classes for the extraction and it's not just... Uh, pure gunplay it's going to be tactical you know if you can sort of teleport yourself or turn invisible at times it's going to make for some interesting players definitely but anyway guys i'm sure there is a massive amount of leaks more i can get for the game from the chinese search engine on wechat for different channels and stuff especially if the ongoing mobile test in china right now i think it's either it's started now or it's in sort of the sign up fears. I'm not really 100% sure. The translation on the website is a bit loose at times. And I'm not sure if it's just open for registration or the test has actually started. I haven't actually found any footage for it yet. So maybe it's end of year or something like that. But we'll sharp find out. Now, I don't know when this is coming to global as of yet. I haven't been told. I haven't found out and I haven't seen anything anywhere that suggests a specific time. But it is meant to be sometime this year. So if you haven't pre-registered for the game yet, guys, I have left the link for the website where you can go pre-register for it right now. If you do, go into the description of the video, click the link, and you can go pre-register. The more people that do pre-register, I'm not expecting to get thousands upon thousands of views on this video with thousands and thousands of new pre-registers. But every little person who clicks pre-register takes were closer to more unlocks when the game does actually go live similar to like registration rewards that i think it's currently like two hundred thousand or something like that if it gets up to five hundred thousand we'll unlock another reward then at a million etc etc i think the chinese one's currently on two million uh, pre-registration so quite a bit more than globally is right now but 
I guess see you guys. If you haven't liked the video, please do. Please do subscribe down below. And I will be digging to see if I can find any more information on the game as and when uh, it gets released. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.